The Homedale Church of the Nazarene was organized out of a tent revival on March 30, 1930. In those early days, Mrs. H.J. Wessling, the pastor's wife, would stand on the corner of 2nd and Owyhee Streets and pray for God to give them that corner for a church building. God gave them that property, and in 1933 a building was constructed. The church continued to worship at that location for the next 70 years. When uh, our first pastor, Mrs. Wishy, prayed on the corner and asked that the Lord give us that land for a church, and the wonderful thing about it was that we bought the property for $2.53 for back taxes. In April 1988, Pastor Chuck and Robin Ryan came to pastor the Homedale Church. At that time, the church was averaging 59 in worship and raised $19,506 for all purposes that year. By the spring of 2000, they had grown to over 150 on Sunday morning with literally standing room or floor sitting room only in their old building on 2nd and Owyhee. By great faith, a fresh vision from God, and a strong commitment to prayer, the church launched out to relocate across the river on eight acres of land. Through commitment and action, they saw one miracle after another, and on April 6, 2003, they dedicated their new 18,600-square-foot church facility. They also enabled continued ministry in the former location by selling their original building to a Christian, Spanish-speaking congregation. Now, after 16 years of faithful ministry, Pastor Ryan reports for the Homedale Church this assembly year a Sunday morning worship average of 193, and they raised over $340,000 for all purposes. Since moving into their new church building, they have averaged over 270 in attendance. As we began to reach out in the community and think about uh, the fact that Jesus uh, was wanting to save our community, and I've, I have always believed that a church shouldn't uh, try to be a community church, but a church that impacts their community for Christ. We began to grow uh, numerically and in spirit, and uh, we bathed with prayer, and our prayer was always that God would uh, bless us uh, and grow our church in spirit and in truth and in number. We believe that numbers represent people, and we want to build the kingdom of God. Uh, it was about in 1994 that we began to see the need and began to, uh, God began to uh, cast a vision for us to grow. I believe we reached 103 and we definitely was defying the 80% principle of growth and uh, uh, conditions started to become crowded and uh, we at that time uh, brought an engineer in to see if there was some way that we could expand our facility there and uh, uh, find better ways of parking. Uh, but after that research, uh, it, it was, it was uh, obvious to us that we were going to have to relocate. And that began the search and, uh, uh, for property. We looked on the Hawaii County side, uh, but there was uh, no property available to us at what we could afford. And uh, there was a lady within our church that lived here and owned this farm and had this piece of property that hadn't been farmed in, uh, they said, maybe twice in 20 years. And so it was available to us at a very reasonable price and we, we purchased this, this piece of property. Early on when I started attending the church, uh, about a year after I attended the church, uh, I felt a real call from, uh, I believe the Lord was talking to me about helping this uh, congregation get a church built. And uh, uh, that's kind of what I do for a living. So. Uh, he gave me a real vision on what the church could be because we, our pews were full all the time and we were crowded and a lot of inconveniences there and, and so uh, I just saw uh, a tremendous opportunity. People were hungry but we just didn't have the facilities to hold all the people that really wanted to come. I'm thrilled that we moved here. My husband, who's been gone for almost four years, he was very much a part of that church. He helped build it, he helped repair. He was very much a part of that church. He loved that church, and he didn't ever feel like we'd ever have to leave that church. But when you have to go three or four blocks to find a place to park, and when you have to uh, have the kids sit on your lap while you're having service, when it was time, when God opened the door, then we were able to build this church. One of the things that uh, the board and I and the congregation, we discussed a name change. 
Uh, we've always been called the Homedale Church of the Nazarene. We were in Homedale. We uh, appeared to be exclusive uh, to those around us, and we realize that our people have, are coming from uh, a, a larger area, and from Middleton to Adrian to Nampa. And so we, we looked for a name that would encompass and allow everyone to be a part and feel a part of this church, and uh, we began to, to search out what the name would be. And uh, we thought about the Owyhee Mountains and the idea of mountain, and and I began to look in scripture and God led me to Micah 4.1 and it tells us in the last days I will establish uh, my mountain uh, of the Lord's temple. It will be chief among uh, mountains, among temples, and it will be raised above the hills and the people will stream to it. And uh, what I believe that is saying to us is, is, is that the church today is needed more than ever. In the past we found in the Old Testament that the prophets climbed the mountain if they wanted to see God. Today, the church, uh, the church is the mountain. If people want to see God, they need to be involved in the church. And we believe that God is using us today to, to build his kingdom, that people uh, will come in and see God and find God uh, through Jesus Christ, his church. We have defied uh, church growth logic because we were uh, 100% plus on capacity a lot of the times in the old facility. and. Uh, the, uh, in, in April of this year, uh, we did some calculations in our board meeting uh, the other evening, and we have grown since we moved in this building, which was February of this year, 2003, 60% um, from the year before in April. So it was a 60% growth in one year since we moved in the new facility. So I believe a lot of it, too, as I looked around the Home, Homedale community, is that there haven't been any new churches uh, really built in this area for a long time. And we were the first ones to step out and uh, build a new church. And I think it showed the need for the, for the church because now, uh, you know, the numbers kind of speak for themselves that people really were looking for a facility that was adequate to hold them and, and their families. As we think about uh, growing in evangelism in our church, we believe that uh, two principles guide us. One is the reason that Jesus came, and that was to seek and to save that which was lost. The other one is why Jesus tarry, why he doesn't return. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but for everyone uh, to come to repentance. And so we believe today that gives us meaning and purpose, why we exist as a church. It's not that God came to bless us with a new boat, but he, he has called us to, to seek and to save that which was lost. And we praise God in this last year that we have seen uh, 28 come forward and light the evangelism candle, basically making a public confession of their faith in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.